Okay friends, in our previous session we dealt with scalars and vectors and explained the concept of distance, displacement, speed, velocity and acceleration, which you can revise anytime. In this session, we'll put our knowledge to the test. But before that, let's understand an interesting concept. Let's assume we're driving a car along a circular track with a constant speed. Say the speed is 50 km per hour. Here's a simple question for you. Are we accelerating? If you said no, well then that's not entirely right. But you're not alone. In terms of our daily usage, we often associate the term acceleration with increasing speed. So, it's not uncommon for someone to say that if he or she were going at a speed of 50 km per hour, there's no increase in speed at all, and therefore there's no acceleration. In reality, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Velocity is speed coupled with the important factor of direction. Hence, if the direction changes, the velocity changes too. So, although the magnitude, which is speed here, remains the same, the direction changes constantly at every point along the circle, which in turn causes a change in velocity and leads to acceleration. So, it's really funny when you think about it. If we're moving and we wish to accelerate, all we really have to do is turn our steering wheel. It gives a new turning point to the definition, doesn't it? Now, let's move on to the quiz. Only a few seconds will be given for each question. So think hard and think fast. All the best. Which of these will convert a scalar quantity to a vector quantity? Amplitude, magnitude, direction, none of the above. Which of the following is a scalar quantity? Distance, acceleration, displacement, force. If Raj moves along an L-shaped path whose lengths are 30 meters and 40 meters respectively, by how many meters would Raj have been displaced? 70 meters, 40 meters, 60 meters, 50 meters. Let A, B, C be the path. We have to find the displacement, that is A, C. So we'll have to solve this using the Pythagoras theorem. If Ben walks along a circular path having a radius of 100 meters, such that his displacement is zero, what is the distance he could have covered? Zero meters, 500 meters, 628 meters, 100 meters. When the displacement is zero, the initial and final points are the same. So, the distance travelled will be the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r. Now, let's substitute the values. A person crosses a 600 meter long street in 5 minutes. What is his speed in kilometers per hour? 3.6 kilometers per hour, 7.2 kilometers per hour, 8.4 kilometers per hour, 10 kilometers per hour. As mentioned earlier, speed equals distance upon time. Here, the given units are meters and minutes, while the required units are kilometers and hours. So, this is what we get. An aeroplane covers a certain distance at a speed of 240 kilometers per hour in 5 hours. To cover the same distance in 2 hours, it must travel at a speed of 300 kilometers per hour. 360 km per hour, 600 km per hour, 720 km per hour. So let's use the formula speed equals distance upon time again. Over here the distance would be 1200 km and the time 2 hours, which will give us 600 km per hour.
if Ben is walking with uniform velocity along a straight road, then his acceleration is uniform, non-uniform, zero, none of the above. A car accelerates from rest to a speed of 36 km per hour in 20 seconds. What is the acceleration of the car in meters per second squared? 1 meter per second squared 0.5 meters per second squared 3 meters per second squared 2 meters per second squared Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity which can be expressed as Vf minus Vi upon T. So, let's substitute the values. Let's convert the numerator in terms of meters per second to match the units of the denominator. And this is what we get. Using your understanding of the fact just explained at the start of the session, find out which of these balls is not accelerating. That's it for now. For more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep watching, keep learning and follow your curiosity.